Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Stasia and today's video I'm going to be talking about five really simple things that I learned to lose 60 pounds. But before we jump into today's video, I don't want to forget about all of our American friends in the whole food plant-based community who are celebrating the 4th of July. I know this is a really fun, exciting holiday for you guys. Here in Canada, it's July 1st, which is Canada Day for us. Um, so similar stuff. So anyways, today is July 4th by the time this is released, so it won't be, but at any rate, happy 4th of July. So you know me and you know I love doing specials, especially when there's an extra special reason to celebrate. So I love helping you guys out to get my books at really discounted prices. I have two really fun ways that we're going to celebrate this. Okay, so the first is, is that I am doing the biggest book sale I think I've ever done to date, like seriously. This one's huge. So all four of my weight loss recipe eBooks, which includes probably over a hundred oil-free whole food plant-based recipes collectively. I mean, we're talking every single fiber protein shake recipe, you know, in my new book, Shake Off the Weight, as well as all of the oil-free, no overt fat recipes that I was eating to get the first 30 pounds off, as well as a whole sauces and dressings ebook that includes no oil whatsoever, and just some really delicious oil-free whole food plant-based recipes from the very first book that I wrote. So like I said, over a hundred oil-free whole food plant-based recipes to help you get started on your health and weight loss journey are going to be on sale for the next 48 hours only. That is that all four of my books are going to be on sale as a bundle package for only $15. Yeah. So let's do the math on that. That means that each of my books are less than $5 a book. Yeah, I think that's the lowest it's ever been in the history of my channel. And that even includes my brand new weight loss recipe eBooks, Shake Off the Weight and the No Overt Fats. So like I said, it's the biggest sale I've ever done. So all four of my books, $15, for the next 48 hours. If you wanna check out that sale, I will have the link posted in my description box below. And the second way that we're going to celebrate is that I'm doing a free giveaway, cause yeah, I can. I love doing these free giveaways. I love the excitement. I love hearing from all of my followers that you were one of the lucky ones to grab a copy. So today you're gonna to be extra lucky because today I'm going to be giving five lucky people a copy of that bundle. So you're gonna be getting four free books. Yeah, so anyways, feeling extra generous, super excited to do this. So if you want a chance at that free giveaway, then same thing, go down to my description box below, click the link, it will take you to the bundle and you're gonna have four free books. So anyways, good luck to all of you. Happy fourth day of July and let's get into this video. I've got five really good things to share, so let's kick it off with the first one. And that is that calories do matter. Now, this does not mean that we need to let calories rule our life or you know, be on some type of restrictive diet or even count our calories. It just simply means that we need to respect calories. And I personally follow a whole food plant-based diet. And I think oftentimes in this community, there's a lot of misconception and confusion over calories. For whatever reason, there's some like negative connotation attached to counting calories in this specific way of eating. Don't really know why, because in my opinion, it's just another tool like anything else to help someone get to where they're needing to go on their weight loss journey. Some people find it helpful, some people hate it, you know? So it's really just a matter of preference. But I personally don't think that it should be deemed, you know, a good thing or a bad thing. It's just another weight loss tool. Now, I personally didn't count my calories to lose 57 pounds. I didn't count calories at all. I think only one time for like a span of three days for you guys to just give you an average of what I was eating because I literally had no idea and so many of you guys wanted to know. And I think that average worked out to be about 1500 calories a day, an average, keep that in mind. But generally speaking, I didn't count calories. But here's the thing, I started to realize that I had to respect calories. All foods have calories. And I think it's really helpful to understand exactly what a calorie even is, because we all just hear like, you know, this food has this many calories or we're counting calories or, you know, but we don't necessarily even understand what that means. And a calorie is just a unit of measurement, like no different than, you know, one cup of rice or a liter of water. It's just a way to measure the amount of energy in food. And all of our energy needs are different. So naturally, if you're eating above the energy amount that your body requires, 
then you're either going to gain weight or you're going to stay at the same weight. So when it comes to losing weight, no matter what diet you're following, you need to be in a calorie deficit in order for the weight to be released. It literally just boils down to basic math, simple science, that's all it is. And whether you're you know, doing intermittent fasting, keto, a plant-based diet, an oil-free plant-based diet, a juicing fast, all of these things are designed to get you into a calorie deficit. There is no magical way of eating to lose weight. There is no magic pill that we can take to lose weight. If someone tells you that, you know, you can eat as much as you want, you know, unless we're talking like water or like non-starchy veggies for all your life, it's simply not true. There's always going to be a limit for each of our individual needs. And for me, when I was losing the 60 pounds, I was also super confused about that. And that's why I wanted to make this one of my number one points to talk about, because I came into the whole food plant-based diet really thinking that calories didn't matter. We don't track calories here. You know, there was just so much negative buzz over calorie counting or just calories in general. It was almost like, you know, a taboo thing that you don't talk about in this community. So I really fell into this belief that calories didn't matter for whatever reason in a plant-based community and that I could eat as much as I want and I was still going to lose weight. And I'm going to get into that a little bit more in one of my next points. And it actually prevented me from losing weight for a really long time until I finally understood that calories do matter. And even if we don't track them, we do need to respect them. Okay. So moving along to my next point, and this one is also really, really important. So one of the number one things that I did that instantly put me into weight loss mode. Like I'm not even exaggerating when I say instantly, like, cause that's what it felt like. Almost like overnight, I was in fat burning mode by doing this. And that was by removing my overt fats out of my diet. Now, this may not be for everyone. And I also want to say that you don't necessarily even have to fully remove them like I did, but I would strongly recommend if you're struggling with losing weight by at least reducing them and see if that gets things moving for you. So for me, once I removed, you know, the avocado toast out of my diet, the oils out of my diet, I mean, I was already following an oil free diet, but for some of you out there, if you're not, that's something that you could really try doing because oil is so calorie dense and it really doesn't add that much to you know our meals we can actually cook without the oil and it just means that you're reducing that overall calorie intake and you can eat those calories you know instead of using oil so anyways that's another huge one nuts and seeds I also removed those out of my diet just because they were so calorie dense and oftentimes I was using a lot of heavy like nut and seed based dressings and thinking that I was doing amazing because I'm having this massive salad I'm having this really healthy dressing which you know, I really shouldn't do that because it is healthy, but it wasn't good for me in terms of weight loss. And as soon as I removed those overt fats from my diet, I mean, the fat on my body just started to melt off. Avocado toast used to be like one of my main things that I loved enjoying every day. And I remember thinking to myself that, you know, it wasn't really making that big of a difference. And even with the nuts and seeds dressings and stuff, like in your mind, in that moment, in that one specific meal, you don't really realize how big of a difference overall that these things make. You know, it wasn't until I removed it that I was like, oh, that was exactly what I needed to do to get myself into a calorie deficit. Because that whole time, I must have been keeping myself in a calorie surplus or just breaking even because the weight just wouldn't budge. I mean, sometimes I would lose like three, four pounds and then it would come back and teeter tottering within, you know, a 10 pound range for a really long time, you know, and it wasn't until I removed those overt fats that it just shocked the heck right out of me. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Like it just melted off of me. Hence why I did keep track of all of my recipes that I was eating the most during that first 30 pound weight loss and threw this ebook together. So this is my no overt fats ebook. And none of these recipes in this book contain any overt fats whatsoever. These were the exact foods that I was eating to get the first 30 pounds off. So when I say it's literally like a blueprint, at least to the first 30 pounds off, I'm not exaggerating because I ate these foods all the time. And once again, the key for me was eliminating those overt fats. Now, recently I have started adding back in a tablespoon of flaxseed a day because I do really respect and value the need of omega-3s in our diet. So between flaxseed and a little bit of chia seed, I have recently reintroduced that back into my diet and I really am not worried about it affecting my weight loss whatsoever. But to keep my story straight, I did remove all overt fats out of my diet to get that first almost 60 pounds off. 
All right, so moving along to my next point is that you don't need to be hungry in order to lose weight. I really think this one is an important one to drive home to because oftentimes when we're trying to lose weight, you know, how many times have all of us thought we need to be really restrictive with the amount of food that we eat. We need to, you know, be hungry. And if we're not hungry, then we're doing something wrong. And I'm telling you, to get 57 pounds off, I was rarely hungry. And if I was, it was because of my own stupidity, you know, like I didn't plan in advance and I didn't bring enough food with me or something like that. But in terms of generally speaking, did I have to starve myself or really not eat a lot of food to lose the weight? I did not have to do that. You know, for me getting the weight off, I have to say that it was done in such a comfortable, painless way this time around. Whereas ironically enough, all the other times in my life that I've tried to lose weight, it was so painful. It was so restrictive, you know, and then that's why it didn't work. That's why it's not sustainable when you do that. So thankfully I've been able to figure out a way, you know, to eat enough food, not too much food either. And we're going to talk about that a little bit later too, but just enough that, you know, that I wasn't feeling hungry or starving all the time. Now, one of my absolute favorite ways of staying full during my weight loss journey and still to this day, I do it almost every single day, is drink one of my homemade fiber protein shakes. I talk about this all the time on my channel, but there's good reason. It's because it works. I've had so many of you guys now comment on my videos, email me, DM me to let me know that you are having tremendous success as well with these shakes. But I'm not gonna get into it too much in this video here, talking about my shakes because I do talk a lot about them in a lot of my other videos. So I will have some videos linked in my description box below if you wanna learn more about these fiber protein shakes. But in a nutshell, I use beans as the base of these shakes because beans are full of fiber and protein and no you can't taste them at all in these shakes and because the beans are in these shakes they have been a secret weapon in keeping me full not to mention how delicious these shakes have been you know birthday cake flavor chocolate brownie snickers coffee crisp is my current favorite one like these shakes are amazing in the way that they taste so that always helps but in terms of keeping me full, they have been incredible. Sometimes I use up to one cup of beans in these shakes. And when I do that, I stay full for a really long time. But I would say these shakes keep me full, you know, for around three to four hours. And the other thing that they did that I don't really talk about this often, but they keep me feeling kind of even, you know, like I'm wanting for nothing. I'm not really craving anything because A, they taste really good. So I feel like I kind of had like a dessert and B, I think it's because of the beans in them. But beans are known to regulate your blood sugars. And I feel like when I have these shakes, I end up just feeling like really good. I don't have this like crashing type of feeling or this really like, you know, starving type of feeling when I am getting ready to eat again. Like it really just kind of holds me over in a really awesome way and they're portable. So that also makes my life a thousand times easier. So those shakes are one of the main ways that I stayed really nice and full throughout this weight loss journey, but also some of my other meals, you know, when you remove the oil, you can actually give yourself more food, right? Because we're not eating those calories up in oil that we can't even really notice in our meals. So instead you're getting extra food on your plate. That's the beauty of a whole food plant-based diet. And honestly, I just never felt hungry. So I really think that is an important point to drive home that, you know, if you are really trying to lose weight, please, you do not have to starve yourself. You do not have to just eat like a bird. You can have some really delicious meals. As long as you remove the oils and at least try to reduce the overt fats, you'll be so surprised how much more you can actually eat and still start to lose the weight. So again, if you're lost and you don't know kind of where to start with these recipes or how to put them together, then you already know I'm running an amazing sale, so you can check out those books and they will definitely help you out. But at any rate, please don't feel like you have to be restrictive and you know not eat any food in order to get the weight off because I can tell you I'm almost 60 pounds down and I've been able to eat a lot of food and be really comfortable throughout this weight loss journey. All right, so moving along to point number four, and this is specific for a plant-based diet. And this is just going back to what I touched on already in the first point, and that is that oftentimes People come into a plant-based diet, a whole food plant-based diet, whatever, you know, and they think or they've heard that you can eat as much as you want and you're going to lose the weight. I mean, that's just what it is. We've all heard that at some point or another, 
or even if you haven't heard it, then I think that there's just still something there that like, oh, I'm eating healthy or I'm eating a lot of fruits and vegetables so I can just eat as much as I want and it's just an automatic thing that I'm gonna lose weight because I'm eating a plant-based diet. And boy, this one, I mean this one specifically, got me into so much trouble over the years following a plant-based diet, an oil-free whole food plant-based diet at that, and I still struggled to lose the weight. Yeah, hard times. So I'm gonna be your friend right now in this moment and say it loud and clear for you that you cannot eat as much as you want and lose weight. That is a lie. Please don't fall into that. Like I mentioned before, everybody has their own individual caloric needs. For some, it's going to be higher, for some it's going to be lower. And that's why you can't always follow exactly what someone else is doing because their energy needs may differ from yours. So someone else might be able to get away with eating a lot more. And there's a lot of things that play into that. You know, people's metabolisms, their genetics, a bunch of things. So just because they can do it or it worked for them doesn't necessarily mean that you're able to pack back the same amount of food and it's gonna happen for you. And for women compared to men, it might differ, as well as us women who are entering, you know, uh, pre-menopause, or if you're going through menopause or you're post-menopause, oh my goodness, those poor women, the things we have to go through. But you know, there's just a ton of different variables. So to think that, you know, everyone can be squeezed under the same umbrella and that, you know, it's a one size fits all approach you are being lied to if that's what someone is telling you. So please don't believe the hype. And it took me a minute to figure that out, that, you know, I can't just follow exactly to the T what someone else is telling me to do or what someone else is doing. That was a really hard lesson for me to learn. And the moment I started to tweak things a little bit for my own specific needs was also when I started to finally see the weight coming off. So just because you're following a plant-based diet, please don't think that calories don't matter, that you can eat as much as you want, and that there's just this like magical pass when it comes to eating vegan or a whole food plant-based diet that, you know, just kind of lets us be the exception to the rule because it's not true. No matter what diet you're following, you have to respect the calories and you have to watch your portions. You have to figure out what your body needs in order to be in fat burning mode because it is not a one size fits all. So yeah, sorry to break the news to you, but just because you're following a plant-based diet doesn't automatically mean that you're going to lose weight. Okay, so that brings me to my last point. And this one's a little bit of a you know different one. I don't know if I've ever really talked about this point on my channel, um, but it is something that I've been thinking about lately because oftentimes when you're following an oil-free whole food plant-based diet, there's this other idea that you know it means that you have to eat all of your meals in volume. You know, that this is kind of like a volume eater's paradise and that we eat large portions because we're not using oil and you know it's just kind of what you do when you're following an oil-free whole food plant-based diet and there have been times even in the past like even before i really kicked off with my weight loss journey like i'm talking years ago you know some people would be like oh stasia you know you're not really eating a lot in that plate you know something that i showed and I always thought that that was a little bit interesting to me. Now, I do keep in mind that, you know, if I'm showing you guys something that I'm eating, that it's just, you know, a snapshot of that specific day of what I'm eating. But here's the thing is that, again, we have to learn to listen to our body and our body's needs. And our body's needs are always changing day to day. So, you know, that's why calorie counting can be a little bit of a gray area because every single day, our calorie needs may change. You know, we may have been busier today than we will be tomorrow. We could have been on the couch all day yesterday, but out running errands all day today, or we hit the gym or, you know, just a bunch of different variables once again, that will ultimately change what our calorie needs are for the day. So when it comes to eating food and the amount of food, that too can vary. And I feel like sometimes people think that they need to eat a ton of food because often that's what we see and actually one of the benefits of a whole food plant-based diet. But I'm gonna kind of talk about the reverse. You know, I still think that there's something to be said about respecting your body and listening to your body. And if you really don't feel like a ton of food, don't eat a ton of food. You know, I know that sounds really simply put and um, I don't mean to say it in a patronizing type of way, I am speaking out loud even for myself. You know, these are things that I literally had to say to myself 
um, that once again, there is no box I need to squeeze into. If I'm not particularly hungry at you know, breakfast or lunch or dinner, it doesn't really matter, that I don't need to force myself to eat a lot. I may not be hungry for multiple reasons. And then probably my next meal, I'm gonna make up for that. So, you know, there's this ebb and flow of what our calorie needs are, and it's gonna forever be shifting. So don't feel like you need to have a massive amount of food, or don't feel like you also need to eat a tiny amount of food. I think that the goal here is to really figure out the perfect amount of food for you. The perfect amount of food that's going to carry you until your next meal and not have you feeling ravenous an hour later or not have you, you know, snacking or grabbing for foods that you really don't want to be eating because you're on a health and weight loss journey. So I think what my main point is that I wanted to drive home here is that a lot of times in an oil-free whole food plant-based diet, we see a lot of things done a certain way or we hear about a lot of things done a certain way and we think that that automatically has to apply to us. And I just think that there is a lot to be said about you know following your own path and figuring out what works for you i mean pulling the best parts out of you know this doctor's recommendations or this you know facebook group recommendations or you know your best friend that killed it and she lost a ton of weight and her recommendations and figuring out out of those recommendations what truly is going to work for you because if it's not something that you can see yourself doing long term then it's not going to be sustainable anyways so i really am a huge advocate after experiencing my own health and weight loss journey and having to tweak so many different things that figuring out what works for you is the best way to do it eating the foods that you love not choking down foods because somebody else said this is amazing or this is what i ate you know tracking calories or not tracking calories totally a preference thing exercising or not exercising i personally didn't exercise for the first 60 pounds i didn't exercise at all and i'm not proud to say that but that is the truth and i still got the weight off being fully plant-based or just starting to increase your fruits and veggies there is a place here for everyone some of you guys just might be curious or just really wanting to you know increase your fruits and vegetables because you've learned that there's a strong need for that for longevity for our health you know everyone has their own place of where they are and i think that that's okay i honestly think it's okay and i think that everybody should be respected no matter where they are on their health and weight loss journey all right guys, so I'm gonna leave the video here. I really hope it wasn't too long. I can be a chatty Cathy sometimes, but you know, I'm just so passionate about, you know, an oil-free whole food plant-based diet. I'm so passionate about teaching you guys, you know, some of the things that I've learned along the way, you know, getting almost 60 pounds off because I know that there is so much confusion, especially within the plant-based community over do this, don't do that, use oil, don't use oil, count calories, don't count, like, your head can explode a thousand times over. There is so much controversy and I really don't know why it's like that in this community. It's really too bad sometimes because sometimes it's just really, you know, fine details that people get into big arguments about. And again, you know, we're all different. So we all can do things a little bit differently and that should be okay. But anyways, if it's your first time landing on my channel and you're also on a health and weight loss journey, then I'd love to have you stick around. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the way out if you wanna get all my future videos. Most of the time it's, you know, tips and tricks like in today's video and all my recipes that I've eaten to get the weight off and all the food that I'll still be eating to get the rest of this weight off. So I promise you it's worth subscribing for. You won't want to miss it. And again, don't forget about that awesome 4th of July book special that I'm running right now. Crazy, crazy deal. So if you want to check that sale out, again, all four of my books, over 100 recipes for only $15. So I will leave the link to those books in my description box below. Thanks so much for watching everyone and we will see you all in the next one.